Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Saris MHS platform style bike rack here on our 2020 Hyundai Palisade. Now the MHS is going to hold the bike in this tray and by each tire. We have these two arms ratcheted down and holding it pretty firmly in place here. I like this style of holding the bike personally. I think it's easiest to load and unload. And overall, it's a really good design. It's a really strong design. Like other platform style bike racks in this class, you do have the ability to tilt it away with the bikes loaded. We've got this handle here at the end that we can just grab and pull and let this down. This is a very heavy bike rack, and I will point out that with how low the hitch sits on the Palisade here, we're actually touching the ground right here at the end. We're pretty much right where the bike rack would stop tilting anyway, but that is something to consider. You are gonna have to go really low to the ground to get that tilted away. And we are really close to almost not clearing, so just put a little bit of pressure here to kinda get a little extra clearance at the handlebars, but you can do it. It will work to get hash access. If you're looking for something similar to this that you don't have to sacrifice any weight capacity and it's easier to tilt away, the Rocky Mounts monorail might be a good option to consider. And we can just tilt this back into place when we're done. Now, one thing I also wanna point out with the bike on here still is the integrated cable lock. This is right here in the center, so it just comes up and around the center of the bike. I find that this is a more convenient place to have the integrated cable lock because this is where I want to run it through anyway, rather than running it through maybe my front wheel or something. Now we can get the bike unloaded. We'll start by doing this ratcheting wheel strap first. It's one of those secondary points of contact just to keep the bike really secure. And now we can come to each of the arms here. So we'll just squeeze this gray lever right here. Be careful of having your palm in there. That could be a pinch point. And also you don't want to let it down too far. It will just fall after a certain point. So we'll undo that other arm and either gently set it down or set it somewhere where it'll catch and lift our bike up and off. Overall though, this style of rack is really easy to get the bike on or off because you're not fighting any sort of center mast and having to weave the bike around any obstacles. So with the bike off, I can grab my tape measure and we can put everything back in place here. I like to fold the arms down just so they're secure and put everything back in place first just so I don't forget to do it later. All right, and with it like this, let's get some measurements. We're gonna start with our ground clearance. Like I said, the hitch does sit a bit close to the ground and you do have this portion here that will reduce your ground clearance down to about 11 inches. That's not terrible. Anything around 12 inches I think is gonna be mostly okay, but just watch out for those steep driveways. And then for our length added here, we are going to be looking at adding 35 inches to the back of our Palisade. We already have a long car here, so just be mindful of that with any sort of tight parking spots or when you're driving around. But we can fold this upright whenever the bikes are off. So if we wanna leave the rack on between rides, we can. In this way, it's only going to add about 13 inches to the back point here. It's a lot more manageable. And you might notice it does sit very, very close to the bumper here. At that closest point down there, we're looking at about one inch of space. That doesn't sound like a lot and it doesn't look like a lot e either, but there is very little movement at the pivot point here. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any vehicle contact. Coming down to the bottom, we can see we're gonna work with a two inch by two inch receiver tube and it does come with a locking anti-rattle bolt, keeping everything solid in the hitch and secure in the hitch. Now overall, the MHS is a pretty solid bike rack. For me, it's a bit heavy, hard to get in the hitch and out. There are some easier to use bike racks out there. So I might consider looking into the monorail personally. I like that a bit better and I think it's a bit more accessible and might work a little bit better for your Palisade. But either way, 
this one's going to get the job done and be great at carrying those bikes. Thanks for watching.